How's it doing? We're back. Playing Super Mario. I know this was supposed to be fan service episode, but as of the day of recording this, the new DLC just dropped. So we got a new, a new warrior from Parallel World arrives in Unknown Battlefield. Ooh, a new. Okay. Which I do want to do because one of these. Because there's three of them, obviously. More? No. Oh, Shadow and Sephiroth. Ah, oh, I do want to do that one too. I want to do, well, first off, I want to do all these. I love this game, but uh, we'll do this one. So I do want to do these. This is just a Crypto Sandler repeats 19 million. Uh, we'll do that one too. Like, I, I want this to be the DLC because I know Excel and Kioske in here. I know also uh, Iron Blooded Orphans and Ultraman are in this one too. Um, not as much of an Ultraman fan, so I could take them or leave them. I do like Iron Blood Orphans, but we already got a lot of Gundam in here, so I might not use them a whole lot. But I want Excel and Kiosuke, I want my Ghost Rampage to go to go off. That's been so. We'll do these. Let's do. I think we're gonna do this one because it's less likely. This is in space. It's less likely Ultraman's gonna arrive in space, right? But first. You know, that's, hey, it works for me. I wonder how much more DLC they're going to have in this game. Oh. Also, I wonder which Kiosk and Excellent it's going to be. Is it the same one everybody else is? Special scenario, Dimension Diver. Because the SRX crew is from the same Super Robot Wars that Misaki's from, but it's not the same Super Robot Wars that Gillum's from. Oh, I was wrong. Oh no, it's, it is not. Wow, I was completely wrong. I'm still down. Let's do it. Hell yes. Uh, we'll start out. Can you kill this guy? Maybe. Also, we'll stick with this theme song for now. I might change it later. I, I basically have given up all hope. I'm, I'm in of any of these not being copyright stricken. Let's do Spirit, and let's do Persist. Because with the morale boost, you should hit better, right? No. Eh, whatever. Nice. If I'm not mistaken, this is the protagonist from Super Robot Wars Double D. The, and I'm still angry about this, Japan, like Japanese exclusive mobile game that I would love to have, but I is not available in America, which, why would you not? Well, I guess this is the first one. This is the first one available. Just because they're all in English doesn't mean this is like this is the first one available in America. All the other ones were just available in English. Do an intuition. And I guess we'll counter with the only attack we can counter with.
I had a feeling. <laughs> My brain was like, doesn't smell right. I mean, normally win three, so if I move here, that's gonna be win two, okay. Let's just hope we can make this 79. I think we can, I believe. I mean, this is an OG. We could, pro we could probably make a 79. <laughs> And he moved right into my attack range. Good, this is the last attack. There's, there's no way this is gonna kill him, though. Hey, not bad. They gain a lot of levels up. And death. I mean, I guess that technically this could be the first DLC you do, but like, you, you know that by now. Yeah, it's quite a few. He's like, sure, I got nowhere else to be. Ooh, Dimension Driver. Interesting, because what's called Dimension Diver was the mission. <laughs> All right, we got him, and I'll probably never use him. Do you want to see what this part you have is? Uh, dimension. Dimension driver. Holy crap, that's a good part. Okay, that can't be right. I I, I think it, I think they the description's off. It says 1500 max HP, comma mobility, comma plus 15 sight. We don't get plus 50, we don't get 1500 mobility, so it should be. I think they need to move mobility and the plus 15. Like they need to slide that down a few sp a few words. And plus 200 for, to all close combat weapons. So that'd be great for Combatler V, our Gridman. Because Gridman's mainly, like, I mean, he has these, but like primarily I would, you would do that one. I mean, Colin's all melee, but she does not need any more help. Alright, missions. Ooh, a flash through space. I'm just getting more and more. Okay, so we're going to unknown battlefield. This might be the whole Sakura War situation where they all just appear in the same map. They all appear here in this area for some weird reason. A small DVD, our dimensional boundary distortion. <laughs> Which 
Once again, conceivably this could be the first DLC you play. I get what I gotta explain every time. Just odd. Special scenario, unknown battlefield. So this is gonna be Ultraman. I mean, if it's all of them, it'll be, they'll all be here. Oh no, it's uh, Mikazuki, okay. And what part, I, I guess I'll know what part of the series he's in, depending on what kind of Barbados he's in. And I, I'm assuming Alea Vignana won't turn out until he's like plus 130. Oh, five turns to kill enemies. I'm pretty sure we can kill in less than five turns. Mika! Okay, so this is towards the end of the game because he's in the wreck, so he's already beaten the mobile armor. Uh, Mika, he's got the Alea Vignana. Oh no, just whenever he's piling it. Plus 20 to freaking everything. Damn, potential level eight. Holy crap. And of course, all good. Yep, drive a cell. So you're freaking nano. I mean, this is annoying. The the nano laminate armor was annoying in cross arrays because it did do beam reduction, reduces beam attack by three thousand, and then reduces all our damage by a thousand. Once again, they're not trying to pretend these DLC characters aren't broken, which I appreciate. Uh, step boost. So if, as long as I pile up, so maybe I'll switch out. Maybe I could put. Uh... Oh yeah, maybe I could put somebody else in here. I, mean, I think we get more than we get more than one character from the series. Oh, wait, you're in the Rex and you only had two moves. Should be able to use a tail. And what's the song? Oh, default song. <laughs> Does melee have a dynamic kill animation? If he does, if he'll kill him. Barely. I'm assuming his cannon can hit it from there. Okay, not bad. Okay, killing them all in five turns is gonna be difficult at this pace just because he doesn't have many good attacks. Okay, the, now the DBD. Ultraman? Yeah. Ah, they are listening to me. Okay, that's gonna make it a tiny bit easier. Yeah, I really can't do much. Um. Supposed to go here then. All right, what you get, Ultraman? Wait, are you a small? Interesting. Pilot info, Ultraman factor. Oh, that that stacks of potential, I assume. So, damn, that's really good. On the unit's third turn from launch, you get stats. 
So after three turns, you get plus 15 to everything and plus 20 percent damage. Weird stipulation, but I like it. And fighting spirit and everything else. Okay. It is a 1S. Interesting. I thought you'd be at least as tall as Gridman. Um... Okay, I, I, I guess I'll get souped up or something. Oh wait, does he transform after, after three turns? Is that why he gets stat bonuses to everything? Because that'd be cool. Wow, if he connects, he'll shoot him down. I mean, granted, he can't shoot him down, but that is scary. Works for me. Wait, I thought you had a range of five. It must be, it must be six. Damn it, okay. Yeah, go for Mika. Wait. All right, no one else is coming apparently. Really? You can't take any of these guys out? I guess none of them really are in the kill range for him. Is it this guy, maybe? No? Crit! Damn. Once again, he's, Mika's only getting the kills because he's, uh... Getting crits. This is the last turn, right? I think. Let's see if this has a dynamic kill. Probably not. I mean, they're not even getting the series music yet. And they're gone. This is just like the Sakura Wars. That's what I want to know. This seems to just be the DLC dumping ground. Which really means they should have somebody stationed here. Okay, here we go. So we got Steel Beowulf. Iron Flower in the Wilds, and Ultraman in Worlds Unknown. Shockingly, I'm pretty sure it's easy to figure out which one of these. This one literally says the Gundam from a parallel world. That does mean Steel Beowulf is probably the one I think it is. Oh, Indian Ocean. Okay, oh, man. Genic okay, you know what? That's fine. Those two don't get used a whole lot. They can always use some kills and uh, stuff. Once again, that's fine. I feel bad I'm not using, like, Misaki... But I use it. Oh yeah, th literally this is the uh, Tyson Reese arrived. So this is, this is them. Or one of them at least. I'm like, remember us?
Give me another Ember of Evil. We've already had two. Special scenario, Steel Beowulf. Awesome name for a game also. Yep. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Oh, what, what, what the, the hell? No, no. Okay, we're going to go back and watch them that text. I, I didn't touch anything. Well, how did that get activated? He's running in certain is definitely the battlefield we were fighting a second ago. Black Light and Velocis. The, the Inst create that. New machines aren't in my database. Strange place, strange machines. Is this what I think it is? What do you think this is? Attack? Yeah. Here we go. See, he gets his music. All right, a cell, focus, persist, bullseye, charge, perfect. Oh, potential level nine. Strong luck gets more money. Always good. This will activate, you know, instinct level two, guard level two. That's good. And the beam code is what it normally is. Yeah. Only for beam attacks, though. I will use charge. And just in case. Hell yes. Claymores. I mean, it's an old trick, but surprisingly effective against literally everything in all the games. And it survived. Um, yeah, sure. As a plain OG, it's like, I wonder how they're going to do the animations in a modern engine. They do look a lot like the animations for... Uh, brain farting. Um... Moon Dweller, but I think I like the Moon Dweller ones better. But as much as I love this game, I think the animations in the other ones looked nicer. As blasphemous as you may think that is. I'm gonna persist on just to save ourselves, and we'll do a focus. Ow. Oh. What I was hoping for. Once again, the, one of the weird things about coming from playing the other Super Robot Wars games was like, I'm like, where's this all attack? I'm like, there aren't any all attacks in this, in this game. Ooh, a support defend. The 
still a very inefficient attack, I think. Okay, at least that's with a support attack. But we can also use Aerial Claymore now, and... How many of those do we have? Two? Yeah, sure, why not? Kill shot? Here to be. Nope. I also like how his ultimate trick attack is using all three of his attacks in a combo. <laughs> Just fit mop up this time. Multi action. Like, we've seen all these, I think, right? Oh, it's not a, ma a moving attack. That's why he's got charge. Okay, so are you, how many people are you going to recognize on the ship then? Are we anyway reliable or otherwise to return you home? Yeah, and I want to get her on my team, too. Okay, so you're not from the same thing everybody else is from? Because nobody from the SRX crew or Shuan or Bullet came to say hi. It's getting weird. Like, they're all in so many Super Rower games, just make them all from the same game. Also, we're far enough along that I've unlocked a lot of these. Remember I was saying, like, the plus one move on the, uh, Full custom bonus isn't as useful because it does things. You have things like this where it's like, I like game plus one move when they sortie. And if you get the the top tier level, I like game plus one move when they sortie. All I like game plus one move the turn they sortie plus two. So if the first move you have two, and then there's also another one. I think it's over here. You can see where I've been focusing my stuff at. That yeah, if you get plus if you get three ex charges, which is not hard, you get plus two units. Plus two that lasts until the end of the mission, even if the AEX charges are lost. That's why I was saying, like, just giving it a plus one move as your bonus. Not 
the best choice when the ship upgrades can do the same thing for you, only better. Granted, you had to have three EX charges, which is less reliable, but getting three EX charges is not hard. All right. This means, okay, Platinum Lucifer, that has to be excelling. Also a great name. Okay, some more things here, like, nope. Like, okay, I, I gotta do more relics on my own time too. Since Kyosuke is in here, which I didn't upgrade him, but it's fine. Because we have our own characters too. Also, I'm curious where in what OG he's being pulled from where he's an ensign. If he's from like one of the later series, how is he still an ensign? Two pair, aces and aces. Well, it depends what kind of poker you're playing. If you're playing five card, five card draw, then, you know, when cards aren't shared, two pair is pretty good. If you're playing hold them though, that's a different story. There is a huge difference, trust me. Yet the more bad you get, the better the good's gonna be. If you believe in luck, Special scenario, Platinum Lucifer. Select ships. Oh, we can take both ships. Okay. It's one of these ones. And then just 12. All right. Um, characters I like. Okay, this is going to be a characters I like to use, but who are on the lower side of levels time. Um, I'll take Gumi just so we can get some cheers in there. Yeah, this is the this is the kind of team I like. No synergy whatsoever. That's not bad. Yeah, he really is a close range fighter. Somebody from here? Uh, focus. There we go. Dual swords. Yeah, these guys got some hit points. Okay, and they got really good hit chances on someone like Umi. That's bad. Uh, get him, Fa.
Okay. Good move. See, that's a little been using armor since he's got this thing. Pa's a higher level than him. Okay, fighting normal guys is a lot harder than fighting those chumps from the DLC missions. That was a dumb move, but I'll take it. Level 6 new type. I'm okay with the enemy making bad decisions. Like that. Um, spirit? No. I mean, I guess a focus would be fine. phase, nothing happened. These guys just tried to do things that didn't make any sense and got completely worked for it. Which I'm fine with. You, get, you can't use your best attack now, but you can use that one. That works. Put you over here. Actually, if you can get your attack off, you need some levels. Uh, bullseyes, I want to make sure you hit that. That actually helps because I got a better commander field now. Bright's 39, even he's a little behind on the levels at this point, but he can kill this guy, allegedly. There we go. Oh, he finally got his new skill, Captain's Orders. What the heck is that? Plus 10 to all commanders following his invasion bonus. All allies in range at any distance receive the maximum bonus. Oh, so this is... Oh, so... Oh, so it changes his commander to plus 10 hit and evade. And instead of dropping off the further away you are, it's just that the entire time. That's... That's actually really, really good. Also, these things are actually kind of tough. Like, maybe taking a team full of weak and a weak mechs was not the brightest call for this. Can you thunder break this guy now? Okay, cool. And you're 33, so you definitely need a cheer. That's a lot of levels. No Valor, but he got wall. That's something. Focus, cheer. You have wall, right? Yeah, okay. Took a lot to get there, but they got it. And he's got Valor. Why are these guys the only ones getting Valor so far? Uh... The heck, yeah. Did 
Yeah, it's keeping you at bay because you're a close combat unit. Hell yes! No one's gonna comment on that? I love the entendres. Yes. Game? There we go. Oh, this is this what I think it is? Hell yes. I believe it could do that much damage. The other question is, what the hell was that thing? Also, does nobody else from the SRX team or anybody recognize you too? Yeah, because you're you're close enough. You don't have uh, Valor, right? Nah. You do have Dawn, though. That's that's in keeping with the series. Excellent. Yeah, range up the range. Oh, let's. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll, I'll have to give you some more stuff. Sport attack, enhance attack. Sports will be crits. Yeah, hit and run. Just a health regen. That's nice. All right, let's use some of our other attacks since we just saw the Rampage Ghost. I don't know why it does that with the, uh... Like, when they can't hit them, it just goes black on the... And with the... You can still see stuff on the bottom. It's really bizarre. Oh, that's so many levels. Alright, that's his turn over. Ah, uh, why are you going after him? I get why you're going through Amuro, it's still dumb. Yeah, dumb. I mean, they got wall on. Ooh. 
Okay, let's see how long launch your E. Um, I guess focus is fine. I got 2%, much better. I don't care how that works, it looks cool. Oh, did not mean to do that. Yeah, I guess we'll see B. They just go down and throw all the attacks. That's a pretty good grouping, also. This is the last attack from her we haven't seen yet. That's actually pretty strong, considering what it is. No, oh, you're fine. Yeah, remember I said the game makes it easy? We can do this dual attack even though this character is not even on the field. That feels like cheating. But it's in my favor, so I'm okay with it. Let's get fought with the Beam Saber for the last kill, and she'll be caught up on levels. Boom! Aww. Also, does no one from any of the crews recognize you two? Measured. Uh oh. Oh, what? Do those just happen every couple of missions now? So much for the free exploration I was hoping for. DLC missions, they were even normal missions. I mean, Gambler's Trip. That's actually really good. When your accuracy is above 60, you'll always hit, and then your accuracy is below 20, they'll always miss. I mean, at least the Selen already comes with 
two levels of upgrades. That's usual because Rampage Ghost uses up a lot of power. Just basically he gets a free S adapter as a custom bonus. Okay, that's useful. Okay, so I guess next time I'm about to deal with a flash through space. So I thought that I thought these were only happen after we do certain story missions, but is it just X number of missions after certain beats? I like that. I mean there's no way we can't do all the story stuff. We're going to get to that eventually. I think just doing the DLCs pushed it along further. So I guess next time uh, we'll be doing uh, Flash Through Space. But that's going to be this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. So that was... Hey, it was good. I We got... We did... We didn't do fan service, unfortunately, because DLC, the DLC printed it. But I got at least the two units I wanted. If I can do the combo attack without having both, I'll probably keep excelling in because she's got longer range... Uh, and better maneuverability than Kyosuke, who's a super close fighter. I think having I think having their long range fighter would be better for me because I have a lot of close range melee guys who are no offense to him better than the Kyosuke, like Vaughn and like Vaughn and Gridman and everything like that. So I'll probably keep her in. Uh, nothing in the prereqs, right? Are we gonna do any, can't do any onboard stuff? Yeah, getting close. We can do these, I suppose, but we already have them. Oh, um, the Mass Production Uprising Team battles an army of mass-produced units in Simulator. And we got Ace Chats. Um, I wanted this one really fast because that means we're going to unlock another super good thing. And which part do we unlock? Oh, cool. We got full counter. All right. That actually was super worth it. Because now, for anybody who doesn't know what that is, uh, Vaughn. Also, you want to give that to Vaughn because I passed him, didn't I? Because um, he has... Uh, the, his ace bonus is he does 70% more damage on the enemy's turn. And what full counter does is, when counterattacking, you always attack before the enemy. So when you're fighting back, you always go first. So the, you give him attacker, you give him all the morale boosters you can get, you put this on him, you make sure he has wall, and then you just throw him out into into the fr into the fray when he's above like 170. And when they attack him. He'll hit first and hit harder, and he can usually just wipe out enemies on his own. And the early units where that would be good for, uh, it's still better for him. And once again, I could also even give him another attacker. Because it's at level 1, so he is 20. I could give him the other this other attacker I can afford right now. He gets plus 30%, plus the bonus he gets for his ace bonus for attacking on their turn. But I'm not going to because that'd be a waste of points. I'd rather get an attacker on somebody else. But that is how you game the system. Okay, so next time we'll do this mission. But until then, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.